Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Boma Bespoke. We're still on our journey to creating this pair of Oxford sneakers. Now, if you are a regular on this channel, and I think everyone should really be a subscriber and a regular on this channel. So if you've been a regular on this channel, you know that once I have created my standard pattern, the next thing to be done is to spring the vamp. Now that entails me cutting some notches around the middle of my vamp point, straightening it out until it lies straight on a horizontal line, and then using that to duplicate the various parts of my pattern. Now someone has asked me in the comment section of one of my videos whether it is absolutely important, whether it is an indivisible minimum to always bring your vamp for any shoe that you're creating. And I said no. Really, if you have a last which doesn't have a very steep slope around the neck, you could actually ignore that slope and just go ahead and duplicate your pattern pieces. Again, even if you have a last that has a steep slope, you could also do away with springing by simply keeping your facing and your vamp just within the range of your vamp line, such that you're not dealing with a curve, but you're dealing with two straight lines that just intersect at the vamp point. So that was the advice that I gave to him and i figured that since i hadn't demonstrated it in any video i should probably do it in this one to show that i walk the talk so in this tutorial we aren't going to be springing we are simply going to keep our facings and our vamp just not falling beyond the vamp line respectively and then you'd see that everything just fall in, falls in line and we will be able to duplicate our pattern pieces. So the long and short of all this two inch that I've been speaking is that both the vamp and the facing start and terminate at the vamp line. So let's cut out the vamp first of all. So you see that it lies on the straight line and using our um, tracer, roller tracer, we can actually um, trace in the lines on the pattern paper. So all that needs to be done is to connect the dots and then cut out accordingly. Of course, I won't cut out until I have added two CM, 1.5 to 2 CM of lasting allowance. And then at the relevant point also add a stitching allowance just at the claw right there so let's cut our tracing channels for our lasting allowance and our stitching allowance also cut that final one and here is the vamp next thing will be to trace out the apron which also forms part of the vamp by the way so we trace out this apron and then also do exactly the same thing we did before. We will connect the dots, add our stitching allowances in, at the top right there and add our stitching allowances at the bottom, top to bottom, according to PMB. So we connect the dots, cut our tracing channels. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, the apron pattern piece is almost done. So we'll just finish cutting out all of the tracing channels. And that would be it for this apron. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, it fits snugly and securely into the rest of the van. For this rib that's at the edge of your facing, if you try to put it at the edge of a straight line, you find that you'd have places that fall beyond that straight line. So the thing to be done is to actually put it way into, just on a folded piece of paper. Don't bother yourself with trying to place it on a straight line. Simply make sure that the straight edge um, 
where it falls on your center line actually is traced out correctly that way you can cut off the excess that you really don't need as you can see and then simply duplicate the thing into two and you'd have um, properly symmetrical parts of that um, rib that falls on the facing so we'll do the the same thing for the rest of the pattern pieces um, notably the the quarters and also the counter regions so um, as you can see I have one um, standard which I cut my tracing channels into and I have the one that I'm using basically just the ruler tracer anyone you choose to use will work out just fine for you um, so here is the quarter of the sneakers I'm adding my folding allowance at the top stitching allowance in front and then also stitching allowance at the folding allowance at the top of course and then also a stitching allowance at the rear part where the counter region will be stitched onto the quarter the other part will be also to cut out the back region the quarter region sorry the counter region and all of the pieces would have been done so ladies and gentlemen that's how the various pattern pieces of a sneakers is cut out at least this type of oxford sneakers but before i go let me show you just how you can get um, properly aligned eyelets or lace holes on your rib so the first thing you do is you fold the rib into two and then the first next you mark the point where you want your first eyelet to start and where you want it to terminate so the first and the last point and then using your ruler you join those two points together and then with a pair of dividers you find the middle the middle point between those two initial points that you made so with my pair of dividers I just found the middle and of course having found the middle I'll mark that middle position and then I'll further subdivide the two halves into two subdivide the two halves into two and then I can simply just mark out those subdivision marks so mark it here and mark it there so this way you have your classic five eyelets um, which is the British standard for eyelet holes just five eyelets will typically be enough for a pair of shoes and then ten for a pair of boots so that's it ladies and gentlemen I'll simply just go ahead and trace in all of my um, pattern pieces on leather of course I'm using I'm putting the vamp part and parts of the quarter on this brown piece and then I would also do the apron and the quarter region on a darker shade of brown which comes in alligator prints so that way we will have beautiful contrasts on our pair of sneakers so ladies and gentlemen it's been um, a very very eventful uh, um, time creating these patterns for you and with you so i would love to see you try it out and let me know if you have any questions in the comment section until i see you next time don't forget to like the channel and subscribe if you haven't done so already till next time ladies and gentlemen peace and god bless you